Hi there, welcome back to Brain Equation. Today's question is x plus y is equal to 4 and x times y is equal to 8. So we need to find out the values of x and y. To solve this question, first of all, give name to this equation, equation 1. And here it is equation 2. So first of all, from equation 1, we can write this equation in term of x-axis. x plus y is equal to 4. You can, you can bring this x to this side and you will write y is equal to 4 minus x. 4 minus x. So it is equation 3. 3. Equation 3, 4 minus x. So you will plug in this value in this equation. Equation 2. So we will get from equation 2. From equation 2. We can write x y is equal to 8 and we will plug in the value of y we write 4 minus x is equal to is equal to 8 4 minus x is equal to 8 so in the next uh, in the next step we will multiply them 4x minus x square is equal to 8 now bring this 8 to this side, we will get 4x minus x square minus 8 is equal to 0. Or we can arrange them x square plus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now multiply by minus 1, you will multiply by minus 1 on both sides, you will get x square minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. Here it is a quadratic equation where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to the coefficient of x is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 8. c is equal to 8. So we will use the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So we will plug in the value of x, uh, value of a, b and c here. So b is minus 4. Here we already have minus, plus or minus. Here minus 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 8 over 2 times 1. So in the next step we have x is equal to this minus minus will give plus 4 plus or minus square root 4 square is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 8 is 32 over 2. So in the next step we have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 16 minus 32 will give minus 16 square root over 2. So we can write this minus 16 as 4 plus or minus 16 times minus 1. We can separate minus from the 16 over 2. So here in the next step we will we will write x is equal to 4 plus or minus this 16 square root is 4 and minus 1 square root is i over 2. So divide this the, the uh, this expression by two and this by two we will get four over two plus or minus four i over two. So we have x is equal to four divided by two is two plus or minus here we have two i. So we have x one is equal to one time we will take plus two plus 2i and we have x2 is equal to 2 minus 2i 2 minus 2i now remember this equation our this equation so to find out the value of y for x1 we have y1 y1 is equal to 4 minus x1 so plug in the value of x we have 4 minus x is 2 plus 
2i. So we have y1 is 4 minus 2. This minus plus give minus 2i. So 4 minus 2 is 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 2i. So x1, y1, we have x1 and this is y1. Similarly, we will find out y2. y2 is equal to 4 minus x2. So we will plug in the value of this x2. So we have y2 is equal to 4 minus 2 minus 2i. So we have y2 is equal to 4 minus 2 minus minus will give plus 2i. So we have y2, 4 minus 2 is 2 and here we have plus 2i. So here we have x1, y1 is equal to x1 is 2 plus 2i and y1 is 2 minus 2i, 2 minus 2i. Here we have x2 and y2. x2 and y2 is 2 minus 2i, 2 minus 2i and here we have 2 plus 2i. Now we need to check. Now we need to check. We need to check. Our equation is x plus y is equal to 4. Taking left hand side which is equal to x plus y. So we will plug in the value of x plus y which is say we take this value 2 plus 2i plus 2 minus 2i. This 2i will go with the 2i. We will get 4 which is equal to right hand side. Now we will take second equation which is equal to a x times y is 8. So taking left hand side xy and plug in the value of xy we will get 2 2 plus 2i times 2 minus 2i. Now here we will use this form. Here we will use the formula of a plus b. We use a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b. So we will use this formula here. We will get x y is equal to the left hand side. It is equal to this we have 2 square minus 2i square. So 2 square is 4 minus 2 square is 4 and here we have i square. So we know that 4 minus 4 i square is minus 1 and here we will get 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 which is equal to right hand side. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So here we have calculated these values. Don't forget these values. These values are very important. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more solutions and videos like this. Till the next video. Bye.